Hey guys, it's Sprout here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk to you a little about a bit about some news that I've been given by Exorcist over on Discord. So big shout out to him for making us aware of this um, phenomenon. I don't know if that's the correct word for it, but this thing that's happening with Activision right now. Now, if you were to go onto the Activision website, you can see all the different games like Spyro and Call of Duty, all that sort of thing. But if you go to the job section, they're actually hiring for something new. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised what it is. So then, guys, I'm going to flick across the screen somewhere here. Uh, where I edit or maybe over there or whatever I do um, some job openings on the Activision website for lead designer, lead this, lead that, executive, whatever the hell but they're all for a new in-house studio called Activision Mobile now this um, studio's focus is develop, to develop triple ear titles for mobile next gen mobile titles now obviously has been said a lot. The Call of Duty Mobile is the most profitable franchise ever. So all the money that they're getting now is coming from Call of Duty Mobile. You know the battle passes, the skins, the the championships, you name it. You know, it's just going absolutely overboard for Activision. And even the ch the chief executive, or whatever he's called, I can't remember his name, has said that it's the most profitable thing moving to mobile. So we can expect to see obviously more coming now it doesn't specify what triple a title they're going to transfer over now if you look at uh, activision games you've got like say you got all obviously all the call of duty games you've got crash barnacle you've got tony hawks pro skater spiral the dragon stuff like that and there's a couple of other ones like skylanders and stuff but i mean i think there's already a skylanders mo mobile game off the top of my head if i'm honest i don't think that's what they're going to focus on the crash bandicoot one has came out recently spiral is the only one out of that list that hasn't really appeared on mobile but i can't really see that being massively um important on that list unless it's going to be like a solo adventure or something like that but so a while ago I was in the Timmy Labs Discord server. This is basically the test program for Call of Duty Mobile. I eventually left it because I, I quite honestly I didn't play at the time. I didn't want to be in it, and I just I didn't know what they were talking about. Asking loads of things about Call of Duty Mobile, trying to improve and stuff. It's like a secret Discord program. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you what was in it, obviously, because it was NDA. But you have to apply to it to get into it, and I was in it for a while. But there was a massive rumor on there. This was months and months and months ago, before anybody else started, like, sort of mentioning it and stuff, that they were planning to bring Warzone Mobile. Now, this new studio within Activision could be, pardon me, a massive hint at an actual Warzone Mobile or Modern Warfare Mobile coming to mobile platform. Android and iOS, as mentioned, so it's not just one or the other. Now... I don't think, personally, they're going to make Warzone Mobile or they're going to make Call of Duty Mobile 2.0 or something like that. I think they're going to do a new game entirely. And I think, unfortunately, the lower-end spec for ones aren't going to be able to play it. Because there is a couple of games on TapTap Tap now, for instance, that are um, classed as benchmark games where the minimum requirement's like 8 gigabyte of RAM. Now, if they did a Warzone Mobile, if you think of the Warzone map, it's absolutely huge. 100 players. You're going to need... Oh, so such an itchy eye the night. Sorry, guys. You're going to need such a massive, powerful phone to run it, to download it, and actually stand a chance with everybody else. But they could potentially make a new Black Ops or a new Modern Warfare or something specifically designed for mobile. They'll probably release it on the PC and console as well. But imagine if it was a cross-platform, all three platforms, giving us mobile players bit more of a chance at the the bigger content the bigger games etc so be something to look forward to anyway anyway guys this new studio activision mobile has not been announced yet it's not being made official the job opens are just there on the website you can obviously go to google type in activision go to their main website search careers and you'll find all the ones i'm referring to in there if you want to check them out 
But, I mean, you never know. One of you might be like thinking, ah, I would love to work for Activision. I can do that. And, you know, go for it. See a sprout sent you. They'll be, they'll be over the moon. <laughs> anyway, but, oh, God, my eyes are switchy. I hear it. But I'm saying um, it hasn't been announced yet. So there's, there's no sort of thing like next week they're going to be announcing this or, or that or next month. I think it's going to be a while off. But it is something to look forward to. And it could just, you know, crop up one day on the App Store some pre register for Call of Duty Warzone Mobile or Call of Duty Black Ops 7, you know what I mean, something daft like that. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it, make sure you do also subscribe as I'm going to be trying to do a bit more this sort of videos as well as gameplay from now on. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.